Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today we're going to go solo on a Germany server and we're going to become the richest on the server from a ton of PvP and some really good base raids. If you guys want more videos like these, make sure to drop a like. Let's try to reach 200 likes. You guys are smashing each like on and I really appreciate it. Also, 70% of you guys watching this video right now are not yet subscribed, so I would really appreciate it if you hit that button. We're very close to 17k and without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video. Alright, just joined this Germany server. I have I haven't played Germany in a really long time actually. And I completely forgot about the map to be honest. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go out around military areas and hopefully from there we could get ourselves some good loot. But I'm pretty sure that there is a dead zone on this map. I'm not really sure if we can get anything special out of it. But I guess if we stick around military and we kill mega zombies and off, we should be able to get ourselves some raiding gear. The most common PvP guns are Night Trader, Aug, and all of that. So we actually did spawn close to a military location, so that's pretty good. I'm trying to get ourselves as much XP as possible and hopefully we get ourselves a melee so we can start building a base since it is a large map having a base close to a military area is kind of dangerous but at the same time we really need to do that if only one of these guys would oh, and there's somebody shooting over here night trade there come on give me a gun please yeah i'm not getting anything good man oh, there's an empire over here let me take that i think there were two people in here a pvp oh, he's right over here he's being chased by zombies i'm gonna kill him all right, he's dead. Let's go. All right, let's. He seems geared. He has. He has a night trade there. He has a heartbreaker. He has a fully decked out. He has a charge as well. Peacemaker as well. Okay, we could take all of this loot and run away. I actually had no idea that heartbreaker spawn on this map. I thought it was just ranger weapons. That was a really really good start. I'm gonna run away. I did loot around a bit. There was nothing else. Pretty sure that this guy that I've just killed uh, looted everywhere. I am dead. All right, well, depression killed me. I'm gonna loot around Berlin. I'm pretty sure over here there's like coalition zombies that maybe could drop us a scaler or something. I actually don't know how to get inside. After this, after we loot around, hopefully we'll get ourselves a weapon. We'll go back to military. I wanna build close to military because if I hear shooting over there, then it's going to be easy counter and we can get ourselves some really, really good loot. And I'm pretty sure mega zombies spawn there as well. Oh, of course. There's another guy in here. Man, I didn't... Oh, I spawned here again. I didn't have any. I'm just gonna run back. And I don't know. Maybe I'll find a gun or something. Oh, wait. He's here. Wait, I don't think he knows about me, actually. Oh, dude. Oh my god, there's no way. He has so much guns, actually. He has the exact same guns that the other guy had. Except for the charge, though. Wait, let me pick up these guns because I'm about to die from the zombies. Wait, maybe this guy killed that guy that just killed me. Alright, let me pick up these meds. And we'll run away. I don't want to stay around. I do have myself a melee, so maybe we could actually start building a base very close to Berlin. I think this guy killed him. And then ran to Berlin. Oh, there's a guy there. Nah, he's dead. Let's go. I'm actually gonna build the base very close because very close to here is the military base. I'm just literally going to probably build a 1x1 one one or a 2x1 for now. And he had a blunt force and a chainsaw. Okay, that's actually perfect. I was gonna build the base with a hammer, but now that we have a chainsaw... Well, I have no space, so maybe I could leave them here for now and I'm going to drown. And then as soon as I finish building the base, I will just run back down here for the blunt force and pick it up. And the one by one base is done for now. I don't have anything that good inside this base except for this one crate. I'm just gonna put myself all the extra guns. Next, I'm going to go down there. I'm going to get the blunt force and the extra clothes. And from there, maybe you could make a bed. I also got myself some XP. Now I can run a bit quicker. And after this, as soon as this is done, I will run to military base. And the base is done. Got myself three crates, got myself a bed. Go. I put all of the extra guns that I don't want to take with me. And now we're going to run to military base with a fully decked out night trader and a chainsaw. Hopefully a mega zombie is there. If there is, we'll get ourselves quite a ton of XP and maybe even get ourselves a raiding gun. It's getting gray as well. So it's looking pretty good right now. Oh, there's a guy over there. Wait, did he see me? There's a tank over here as well. Yeah, it's locked. He's dead. Okay. He definitely had the piece of oh, saber toots as well. Some attachments, some raw, some meds as well, some food. Right. Also, I thought the server was on easy mode, but there's like flamers and all of that. I think it's like how Germany is, but that's okay. Shouldn't really be that much of a problem, to be honest. He did have a bunch of guns. We really need the backpack, man. Because right now, with this, we barely have any storage. Also, there's a mega zombie up here, so let's try to kill him. Maybe he will actually drop an Elise back. Oh, he hit me. I am going to die. Alright, he's dead. Hold on, let me kill this guy first. A Haika box and some attachments and an Amari. Alright, we should run back to base now. We're actually full of load. We got ourselves quite a ton of good guns. We got a bipod as well. That's pretty good. Oh, there's a guy over there. Okay, he's dead. Uh, he had a raw, some metal. All right, now we should definitely go back to base because I have no, literally no space at all. And we are 
safely. Hold on, let me actually go in. Yeah, now we are safely back in base. Let's go. Get ourselves quite a ton of good loot. Got ourselves a high caliber ranger box. Next, I am going to upgrade base from a one by one. I'm going to make it a two by one. So over there, we could actually make a bit of more storage. All right, next, I'm going to go to aerospace. Now, apparently over here, you can get ourselves some really, really good loot. And it's a mega zombie spawn as well. And at the same time, maybe we'll get ourselves some PVP and maybe we'll find ourselves some bases to raid. Oh, there's actually nitrate their shots as well. There's a guy over there. Wait, if he's PvPing... Oh, no, I think he's looting him. Wait, let me kill him then. And there we go, he's dead. This guy was looting the first guy that he killed. And now I came along and I'm gonna take everything. Oh, he has a spec of rucksack. Oh, yeah, scalar, night trader, some clothes, Luger, coalition beret. Right, let me salvage all of these. Got myself some, some dressings now. That's pretty good. Some ammo. But I pretty much just looted the aerospace. Got myself quite a ton of raw explosives and some extra guns. These spitters and flamers are actually really annoying. Thankfully, this chainsaw, very OP against them. And he is dead. I had a scalar and a saber. I think that's the scalar I left outside. Got myself some more crate. Thankfully, I also got the spec ops rucksack. So now I could actually go somewhere and not having to return after getting the first three guns. Man, we're starting to look pretty good as well. Getting ourselves a quite a ton of guns. What we really need next is to focus on getting raiding gear. Oh, grizzly. Wait, oh, there's a detail in here. Oh, I'm getting shot at by a grizzly. I don't know from where, man, but if I could get that grizzly. I don't really want to die with the Detto, though. I don't know from where he was, but I think he's somewhere in front of me. Oh, wait. Wait, there he is. Hit him. Oh, he's dead. I got him. I got him. All right, let's hope he's actually a solo. Let's switch to nitrate there. Let's push. Hopefully he has no bed up there. It looks like it's a, a tower taken over. Yeah, all of this area seems looted. Oh, yeah, there's some loot. An AUG. Raw explosive. No, I can't do this jump, I think. I have no... I don't have enough XP. All right, I need to get myself a quick plate. Let me salvage this gun over here. The Empire and the Knife. All right, plate over there. Oh my god, Grizzly is high cal. He has an elite spec as well. All right, this is actually really good spec ops vest. So much Grizzly ammo. There's some drums as well, some raw explosives. Oh, we should definitely get this loot and go back to base, man. We get ourselves a Detto. Get ourselves a Grizzly. All right, let's go back. Oh, wait, what? Oh, how... All right, this guy came out of nowhere, man. He had an empire. If he hit me one more time, I would have died. Okay, we are back in base. That was actually terrifying. We got ourselves probably the best loot that we have in our whole base now. The Detto for sure. At least back. Got ourselves a Grizzly as well. It's also a full moon, so maybe I could go farm some XP somewhere. Or maybe with this Grizzly, I could try to raid the base somewhere, like a small base or something. So probably, I'm going to run around the map. Uh, very close to these areas, to the north side of the map. And if I do find a small base, I will return with the Grizzly and raid it. Well, it looks like we actually did find a base. Uh, it's unraided. Wood as well, so maybe we could get the Grizzly. And we should have enough to actually raid this whole base. And we are back with the Grizzly. Time to raid this wall. Hopefully, I actually have enough to raid this whole base. And we are through. Perfect. Looks like some lockers and there's some crates. Uh, Devil's Bane. Some raw. Uh, some junk though, there isn't that- We have a blowtorch though, that's really good. That's actually what we needed in order to make ourselves charges. I don't think I have enough, but we could go back and maybe try to craft at least one charge. I should have everything to make one. Yeah, I am out. Time to run back to base, get ourselves some charges, and we will be back. And we are back, got myself two charges. Should hopefully be enough to at least break all of these lockers. Maybe even the doorway next to mine. Oh, well, two of them broke, actually, that's really good. Like, rock explosive nitrate there. Another raw, some wire, not that much good loot though. And over here, there's some more lockers. Okay, good. There's another nitrate there. Looks like a bunch of PvP guns though, not really what we need. Okay, so for this charge, we should probably, I don't think we can break all of these, but these two lockers should break. And yeah, they did break. Looks a jackhammer. That's actually really good. Some more raw. Yeah, we actually have quite a ton of raw at base. I think the only thing we need to make ourselves more charges is probably grenades and wire. There's two beds. So it was a two-man base. Oh, there's a Swiss Gewehr as well. We don't really need that though. Alright, we could run back to base now. Got ourselves quite a ton of PvP guns. Oh, there's actually a mega zombie. Hopefully this guy will drop me five grenades. And I don't, I don't actually think he did. Two heartbreakers and some attachments. Okay, well, that was, that was very bad. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to loot as much as possible. I'm going to go from melee base to melee base. Try to find myself as much grenades as possible. And if we do, we'll start making charges. And once we have enough, we will go back to that base that we started raiding. And we will finish it. All right, so I'm pretty much looking for glow. I did get myself some grenades. Pretty sure we'll get ourselves some from here. Now, I did also find another base very close to here. It's unraided and it's kind of bigger than this one. We are finally back. I got myself two charges it should be enough to break all of these that's literally all i have first one this one did break nitrate there's some raw if there's nothing in these then this trade is a bit of a disappointment 
looks like a bunch of guns. Oh, Metamoris. That's that's pretty good. I do have myself some Ranger Heikel, so we could use that. This raid isn't that good, unfortunately. I guess the best thing that we got was the Blowtorch and the Jackhammer. Hey, I will salvage everything, make them into metal in order to make myself some lockers back in base. After that, I will probably just grind more. Maybe enough to make myself like three charges and then we'll hit up this other base that I found. <laughs> Alright, time to grind probably for the next hour. Looking for grenades, rock explosives, all of those. Back from the Lutron, got myself one grenade. Alright, just looted aerospace as well. Now I'm gonna go back to base. I can make myself one charger. And maybe I can also bring myself the Metamores and the Heikel box. And this base that we're gonna raid is very, very close to here. Alright, so this is the base that I want to raid. Now over here from this side, you could actually see some wardrobes, which is kind of fun. Area is obviously claimed. So I got myself two charges. It should hopefully be enough to definitely go in claim flags right over there perfect we already found it you could just break that that's really really good all right let's build the plate should raid these wardrobes next now, i don't think i have enough in order to do that though so i definitely need to go back to base and get more all right we'll, we'll place a charge right over there insane base raid and yep some wardrobes there's a bed in here as well let's destroy that Looks like there's some guns. Oh, there's a dragon fang. All right, maybe I could try to break that with the Matamoras. I don't think I have enough, though. Yeah, I don't think I have enough. Just run back to base. Trough myself like 2C4. And then we'll be back. That should definitely be enough to raid all of this. All right, so I got myself three charges. That should definitely be enough. And now we will go back to the raid. And hopefully, we'll come back with some really good loot. Alright, and we are back. We'll place a charge definitely on the dragon thing because we really want that. I'm pretty sure these three charges will break all of them. Alright, we'll claim all of them and... Yep, they all broke actually. That's really good. Then there is actually a ton of loot. Oh my god, there's so much nitraters and PvP guns. There's some Heikel, there's a ton of metal as well. Dragon Fang box, let's go. Where's the Dragon Fang? I'm, I'm trying to find the Dragon Fang. Oh, there it is, found it. Let's go. And it's full as well, perfect. There's some two Dettos, some Heikel, some glue, some grenades. And we definitely will take those. That's some easy charges, some rock explosives as well. We are running out of those. All right, we will definitely take what's important. I'm not gonna take that much PvP guns because I already have a ton in base and we don't really need that much. We got a Gauss Musk as well. Oh, wow, a bow. Some ammo, or rock explosive, some guns. All right, we are back. We got ourselves so much good loot. We got ourselves three extra detonators, a gauss musk, the dragon fang for sure. So this is a really, really good base raid. All right, so there is another base over here. This is the last raid that I found. I did search around quite a ton. And looks like it's basically out of wood. There's some metal parts over here. But I did bring myself some charges. Oh, wow. Okay, well, this is some honeycomb. Not really a good start. Uh, but there's the claim flag as well. We found that. Uh, yeah, there's some crates over there, actually. Alright, we'll place ourselves one charge for now, and then we'll probably just use the Dragon Fang. Okay, and we are through. Alright, we'll break them. And some grenades, three grenades already. Drums, three drums, okay. Uh, some guns, some wire, we could take those. There's nothing in that one, nothing here. An umbrella, PvP guns, a gauze can. Some glow, we could take that, definitely. More PvP guns that we don't need. And for all, insane loot, hopefully. Uh, okay, well, a ton of them, bro. Okay, another dragon thing. Two charges, a bunch of high kill. Oh, it's empty, though. That's okay. There's a bunch of raw, some wire. We can literally make charges right here. This is a really, really good raid as well. We got our profit for sure. There's a bunch of high kill. More high kill by the looks of it. Right, well, I'm gonna take the empty dragon thing. Take out the dragon thing box that's empty. And I'm just gonna fill it up with these high caliber boxes everywhere on the floor. Oh, more more drops. Okay. And a bunch of metal and a ghillie top. This metal, I could take it. Maybe I can make myself some lockers back in base. All right, well, most of them did break. Uh, another charge. There's a PDW as well. I didn't even know those spawn in this map. All right, let's raid it. Oh, I didn't have anything good. Okay, it looks like a bunch of meds, maybe. All right, yeah, I think we finished everywhere, right? Yeah, there's a ladder over here. Yeah, this is just honeycomb by the looks of it. There's nothing over there. Wait, I think there's a bed in there. Alright, yeah, and looks like another bed. Alright, so this was a tree man team. Alright, let's take everything, run back to base, and this was a really, really good base trade as well. Well, alright everybody, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you guys want more videos like these on maps that we don't really play on, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!